I know how frustrating it can be when you want to, to learn Arduino, but you don't have Arduino kits. So today I'm going to take you throughout on how you can do Arduino projects or learn Arduino even if you don't have the Arduino kits just by making use of two softwares. One is Purchase 8 Professional and the other one is Arduino IDE. So with that, let us get started. So today we are going to look at how you can use Arduino into Process 8 Professionals where you can do your project and other tutorial practices just like you have in hardware but this one is going to be software based. So you need two software. One is Process 8 Professional. So let us go straight. I have Process 8. Here's my purchase 8 professional and the version that I'm using is 8.13. If you don't have this version, just check at this part. You will see a link to a video that will show you on how to install this purchase 8.13. And also check in the description below. You will see the link to videos that will show you how to install purchase 8.13 and also add libraries into purchase 8.13. Now we need Arduino. So here is our Arduino IDE. Let me position it properly. Okay. Good. So here is our Arduino IDE. This is very accessible in Arduino website. You can get it for free. Okay. Let us get started. We go to the schematic. So here is the schematic. Let us find libraries. First of all, we have Arduino. And mind you, purchase 8 doesn't come with Arduino package. So what you do, you have to put this third-party library into purchase 8. And in doing that, there is a link below that will show you step-by-step step on how to install purchase 8.13 and also add this Arduino packages and other libraries into purchase 8.13. So we need Arduino. We have Uno. I like this version of it, just like the color. See, so I double click on it, it will be added to the library. Then, next, we need LED, and then I like green color of LED. Click it will go to the library, double click, and then we'll go for a resistor. Let's say, yes, it will just come here. It is say, okay. So here are the three. We have Arduino Uno, then we have LED. So now let me hook up the circuit. In order to complete the circuit, we need to connect this one to ground. You can find the ground at this terminal mode. Click. Here is ground. Okay. So I want to edit this LED. Just double click on it. This edit component window will pop up. Just hide some of this. I just want to hide these labels. Say OK. And I want to edit the resistor. So I just double click on the resistor. Then I can edit the value from 10K to 230 ohm. OK. Now it's time for us to run our, pro, pro, um, our code. So here is Arduino IDE. We'll be programming uh, the Arduino using this Arduino IDE. So here is the void setup and then here is the void loop. The difference between the two is that the void setup, it's when you put a code here, it will be executed once. And here when you give an instruction here, the void loop, it will be executed repeatedly. Okay, so now the void setup first we have to know the mode of the arduino pin the pin we connect connected here is pin 8 we have to know the mode the mode mean whether it's going to be input or output input mean it is taking instruction from outside and then output means it is the one giving out instruction right so now let me clear this here a little bit and put something now let us put the pin modus here pin mode so the color changes mind you the mode start with capital letter and when you write it this way it will change color which indicates that yeah we are good 
which pin are we working with we are working with pin 8 it's the number of pin comma and what will be the mode of this particular pin is going to be output all in cap close let me give you a hint don't forget your semicolon what do we want this pin 8 to do now let us say digital right all right which pin are we working with we say pin 8 and what will be the state of this pin let it be high don't forget your semicolon now let us compile this code click on this button and then ma make sure to save this one let's say first tutorial okay now it is compiling we can see the green line means we are good all right we're done here okay so if you don't have these um how do we say garbage or something blah 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 if you don't have it just make sure that i come to file go to preferences click on preferences then make sure that this one is stick like this compilation you click on it then you say okay and run again then these things will appear what are we looking for we are looking for the hex file so we can get it at the bottom if you move this path here it is dot hex so and this dot hex is in quotation mark so all the things in the quotation mark we have to copy it starting from this c click go up to this hex okay now i just say control c come to this arduino in purchase it double click then go to program file control v say okay and then let us run and see what it has for us boom our led is on right now we've turned on our led so now let us try to turn it off so all you need to do is to copy this try to see say control v okay so this time around we are going to put it as low we compile this after the compilation you don't need to copy the hex file again you just have to stop this stop and then you play it again boom now you can see something the led is now coming on but in reality it is coming on what happened it just came on on and off the first time fast in to the point that our eyes cannot recognize it so in this state it is off already because this is executed once after that it's done so we can give a delay between let us say delay and this delay let us say 200 now let's put 100 milliseconds semicolon now the same thing we could do the same thing for this one also it will be off for the state now let us compile and then stop this one now let us play it's on and it's off you see that what happened it has executed once so you now believe that whatever i put here to be executed once now let us do something clear this part and copy this one we've done here copy then put it here and then let us clear this one at the top now let us run this again oh it has then we have to clear one of this coil bracket okay compile again good so we let us stop and then we'll play again now you see the magic this one is happening continuously it will come on for 100 milliseconds then it will go off for 100 milliseconds 
on for 100 milliseconds and go off for 100 milliseconds so guys this is what i have for you today and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos because this is a tutorial and more videos will be coming in the future make sure to subscribe and don't forget the bell icon thank you for watching this video